Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is Andre Harris or Zen Manga Zero. So I'm here with the top 10 video of characters I would love to see in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So we got great news um, yesterday on Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, the announcement, and we also saw gameplay. So this video is just basically characters I would love to see. Now, mind you, these are not my favorite characters, but these are characters I would like to see in terms of gameplay mechanics and just variability from male to female and um, brawler types to like long distance type characters. There are more short range melee characters in my list here, but we'll see and we can talk about that. So I'm going to start with the Marvel side. So first we have Daredevil, very popular from the Marvel Cinematic Universe on the Netflix side of the spectrum. And I think it would be really cool just to have um, in terms of the possible abilities that they might give him. Um, now, I know he's a close range brawler, but I feel like he might be able to do something with his um, with his acute senses, so to speak. So l hopefully we'll see Daredevil in Marvel's Capcom Infinite. The next character I have is Punisher. Now, Punisher is another um, fan favorite from the, the Netflix series. And he was introduced in Daredevil and he's now getting his own series. But in, in terms of um, gameplay mechanics, we don't I don't think we're gonna see a cable based character that we had in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So I think it would be great to have Punisher with his access and skill sets to different weapon based um, items. Next on the list we have Black Panther. Now Black Panther, um, yes, at you know the first thing you might think is like, oh, yeah, he's a perfect fit because he's in Marvel Cinematic Universe and there might not be a Wolverine. But at the same time, I think it will be really cool um, to have a character that's more than just like a brawler type. Um, I feel that he could be the combination of like the Strider slash um, Wolverine. You know, he seems to be more stealthy and more cunning and Wolverine seems very wild. Um, and I already have a wild character within the list on the Capcom's, Capcom side. So I think... Black Panther will be really cool and he could even have a projectile that's very ninja-esque and the projectile could be him throwing vibranium darts for that matter. Um, next on this list we have Loki. Now Loki is one of the main villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and he is a trickster. So I think his his abilities will, will look really great and they'll be well versatile in terms of property blocking, um, the ability to um, take away things and block off the infinity gems. I think he will be a really cool character to have in terms of um, properly property blocking and also property enhancement for himself. Next on this list, we have the Queen of the Inhumans. We have Medusa. Now her abilities are to manipulate her hair on all facets. So I think I think she would be a really great um, key person to advertise in humans and also as a female character. Um, a very strong female character for that matter. Uh, she is the que queen of the humans. So for them to have her in the game, I think it would make a lot of sense. Um, now going to the Capcom side, I'm going to start off with an old school game, um, Sengoku Basara. And the first character I have on the list is T Tadakashi Honda. Now, some of you may or may not remember him, but we may not have a Sentinel character. We may not have a, a Nemesis. So I think it would be great to have a big brawler based robot character um, as Tadakashi Honda in the game. And he's, you know, he's from a different game. So I think it would be great to have a variety of characters who come from different Capcom based games. The second character that which is in the same game is Kenji Mada. Um, he is kind of the Son Goku S space character, um, and he, I think he he alone he, he by himself could be kind of like a joking character, but also a very serious character itself. Um, we had a Sun Son in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but I think he could be the more grown up and serious version itself. Next on this list we have Tessa, and I, I, you know, I really want Tessa in this game. Um, number one for. For gender variability and also because we might have i'm foreseeing that we might have dr strange in in the game so i think that tessa would be a really good rival for him to have within the game because she is a witch and she is versed in the mystic arts <laughs> or the hex arts itself 
Um, so hopefully we'll see her. Next on this list, we have Samanosuke. A lot of you probably remember him. Um, probably nostalgia is popping up right now from Onomushu. And I think we need a sword-based character um, that is versatile and not just the sword base, but also um, soul absorption and other things that I think could represent more or less like a, a Dante base without the guns or even a Virgil, like he might be the combination that we're looking for in terms of um, variability and um, some of the attribute properties because he is able to use different weapons. So I think that he may be almost like a, a low key character without the, you know, a lot of the tricking, but just the property upgrades itself. And last on this list that I hope to see, and he is my number one pick that I won, even though the others weren't in specific order. He is my number one character I won in the game, and this is Ashura from Ashura's Wrath. Now, Ashura is basically, he is that rage character that I was talking about um, earlier when I mentioned um, the Wolverine slash Black Panther. He is nothing like those characters, but he is that rage character that we're looking for just to maul and just to um feel good when we're laying down those combos on the screen and doing these crazy um supers i think he would be a really great character to have in terms of the um the capcom side as as a rep representative that is not the regular ryu and Mega Man x in the game now again this list does not include all the characters i would love to see for example, Black Butt, I would love to see Black Butt. I would love to see Scarlet Witch. I would like to see Quicksilver. Um, and, you know, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver do have a really good chance of being in the game because they are not mutant-based characters as represented in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, so, because we know that they were experimented base, um, basically on... Um, so we may be able to see them in the game, hopefully crossing fingers. I would love to see Quicksilver to see how the gameplay mechanics works for a speed-based character. We haven't seen that before. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this list. Um, let me know about the characters that you may like to see. Because um, I may do another video um, leading up to, you know, not just the top 10, but also the top 20. Because we know Marvel vs. Capcom games are um, pervy for having a lot of characters within the game. Um, not just like 10 or 12. We only saw 4 characters within the trailer, possibly 6 if you're counting that silhouette character. And then I just named 10. Some of these characters may not be put in the game. I don't really think that some of the Senku Basara characters. But you never know because Capcom, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom has delivered some obscure characters in the past. So hopefully we get to see them. So let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you later. Peace.